Like, am I crazy? Is this not a weird position? But look at that booty. Thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C. Oof. Look at that booty, guys. Ugh. That is... That is Alba booty. Hi guys, I just want to take a second to thank all my patrons here who have donated to me. No matter how much they've donated to me, it really means a lot to me. And if you guys want, you can check out my Patreon and help support me continue to make yaoi videos. Thanks guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Dramatical Murder. In the last episode, I think we got sucked into a game of rhyme. And I think we're about to get into a fucking drive-by or something. We're gonna get really fucked up here. But the good news is Ren is a human male now, and I think we can fuck him. <laughs> we got- we got there, boys. We did it. C coming What should I- Um, I don't know. What is this even referring to? Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Sets. Roger. And that's my bunny voice. <laughs> uh, uh, ah! Th that was dangerous. Hey, wait a minute. I want nothing to do with rhyme. Cut it out. Um, is that him talking? Okay, yeah. Um, rhyme name Sly Blue. What? Saragaki Alba. Why do you know my name? And what's this sly thing? Fight. I I've never done rhyme before. Fight. But I said I've never done this before. Fight. It's useless. He won't listen. Let's run. Ren, can't we do something? Is there a way to get out of here or something? I tried, but the logout function itself seems to have been disabled. So seriously? What's up with this rhyme? We need our ass kicked by a bunch of bunnies. Oh, oh, ah. Ah, ouch! Alba, are you alright? It, it hurts pretty badly. Rhyme doesn't inflict damage on the real body. It's all an illusion in the brain. Wait, is this... Who's even talking? Is that Alba? I can't even tell. Um, it's con it is controlled so that it does not cause any further influence. But in this field, the control of the damage level seems to be excluded for some reason. D doesn't that mean... When taking damage here, some influences may be exerted on the real body. Then isn't this the worst case scenario? You can't get away! When I look up, a rabbit peeps at me from a block nearby. Lost set. Roger. C crap. <gasps> oh my god. Ren just jumped in on us. Um. Let's turn off my camera for a second. <laughs> hey, he's looking pretty. He's looking pretty cool. No. <laughs> well, he was looking cool, but then, you know, I guess he wasn't actually able to back it up. <laughs> um, well, I mean, okay. R Ren, are you okay? What was that? Uh, uh, it's one of my headaches again. <laughs> my head. Uh. Who the hell was that? It looked like the same color hair as us. Was that our mom? R Ren, jubilation set. Uh, Alba, do it already. Understood. Tish. You gotta be kidding me. His all made is an old model without armor? Is he underestimating me? What? Where does it say he doesn't have armor? Where does it say that? Um. Looks like it's a pretty evenly distributed all mate. <laughs> looks like pretty general stats. I don't know about that. 
He almost doesn't have anything. He's completely screwing with us. Let's just get this finished quickly. What the fuck is this? Why are we all shadowed? Well, shit. Oh my god, is he gonna Chidori? What? Is that a Chidori? How can you cast that? How can you cast that? That Jutsu? Oh, shit. Holy fuck, he just fucking particle cannoned him. <laughs> but P! What the fuck does P mean? Confirmed! Enemy attack, three losses, durability decreased by 12. Damn that guy. J just now, what did I. Ren, what was that? You gave me instructions to attack. Uh, attack? How could I do that? I don't know any attacks. But a little while ago, it felt like my mouth was moving on its own. Alba, he's coming again. Instructions. Uh, even if you ask, I... But if I don't, we'd be in trouble, right? Just have to do it like earlier. Gah. Gah. R Ren, defense. Understood. Demolish set. Roger! N -n -n -n. Huh, this is bad. I had no idea bunnies could be such good boxers. Oh shit. Our durability's gone, guys. We just got fucked. Main body of the enemy's defense wall, 100% damage. I guess it was useless to expect more. Let's go. Withdrawal, withdrawal! No, it's not. Wait! Main body of the enemy's defense wall, recovering at amazing speed. 40, 50, 70, 90! What's going on? What the fuck was that? What? what happened? Alert, alert! Danger, danger! Huh? <laughs> Destruction and death. Yeah. Uh, my head hurts. What? What happened? Ow, ow! Ow! It seems I'd somehow fallen on the ground, and I can't get up again. <laughs> I endure the pain in my whole body, gather my strength in both arms, and prop myself up. I stagger and almost fall again, but I manage to somehow stay standing. It hurts, but how did it turn out? I press my forehead with one hand to try and arrange my confused memories. It must have... I was suddenly dragged into rhyme during a delivery, and some weird rabbit head... I'm in front of the shop? I've seen it every day, so I can't be wrong. I'm standing in front of Haybun. But why? I should have gone out for a delivery. Was it all just a dream inside a dream? When I look around, I see a lump of blue fur lying on the ground. Oh, Ren! Aw, how cute. <laughs> I run up to him and immediately embrace him. There's no reaction. I push Ren's head lightly and try calling him. R Ren, hey! Alba. After a short pause, Ren opens his eyes. I feel relief from the bottom of my heart, seeing him safe. Are you okay? There are no large problems in particular. R really? You're not broken anywhere? Some of the data is damaged. I isn't that enough of a problem? Ren should have also received damage and rhyme from that rabbit head red, rabbit headed guy. I'll examine you once we get home, okay? To be on the safe side, please do. 
Y yeah, it even feels like some of the data in my brain's damaged. I remember fighting with that rabbit head, but how did it turn out? My data from then is also damaged. I, I see. Wait a minute. I'll try to remember. I endure the headache, close my eyes, and search my memory. But the more I try to remember, the more it feels like the memories go farther away. It's useless. I can't remember anything. There's nothing we can do about it. But really? Why? If the average man's storage capacity is assumed to be 100, Alba's capacity would be over 10,000. Are we really having this conversation right now? Uh, uh. Uh, Alba. Huh? huh? I'm getting kinda dizzy. But Ren, you... Since when did you have eight legs? <laughs> wow, I guess those those All Might upgrades really, really are pretty good. I, I really should, shouldn't. I really should upgrade you more. Uh, Alba. What, what is this? Everything in front of me is spinning. Where's the ground? What? Oh my god, is this the heroin Granny gave me? Is this the heroin Tyson gave me? Why Tyson? Why did you give me heroin? <laughs> Wait here. Ren runs off somewhere. I watch him as he leaves. It looks like there are three of him, and I unconsciously laugh. Haha, <laughs> that's strange. Ren has three heads. My consciousness broke off there. Damn, Granny. After I passed out in front of the shop, Ren called Hagasan and let me rest in the shop for a while. Even though I lost the bag I was supposed to deliver, Hagasan said with his usual smile that I could go home for today. I'm totally gonna get my pay docked. He he seemed really nice about it, but honestly he was fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm not getting paid this week. I decided to depend on Hagasan's kindness and obediently went home. It seems like Granny isn't home yet, and the house is dark. I turn on the lights to the dark entrance hall, enter the corridor, and walk into the kitchen. I take a pill for my headache from the shelf, and drink more water than usual. The pill should technically be taken after a meal, but my top priority is to calm down the headache. It might be because I'm relieved to be home, but I suddenly feel so tired that it becomes difficult to walk. I want to fall asleep on this spot, but I make my way up to my room on the second floor first. I take Ren out of the bag and put him on the bed. I remove my jacket and lay down next to him. Woo, what a day, right? <laughs> I totally passed out right in front of the shop and I can't remember anything that happened when he got sucked into that drive-by and Granny's heroin is starting to wear off or maybe I'm starting to overdose on it. I can't tell. <laughs> I lost the bag I was supposed to deliver and after that I even left work early. Hagasan's smile and consideration were great and a sense of guilt flocks to me just for remembering it. What am I doing? This is all because of that weird rabbit head. And rhyme. Is it really worth hyping up and becoming addicted to it? I slowly sit up while remembering the game like space I was sent to. And I only feel worse. I guess the medicine hasn't kicked in yet because the headache isn't going away. I'll try something else. Oh, what are we... What are we trying? Um, I don't... I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're listening to music, but we're in such a weird position? Like, am I crazy? Is this not a weird position? But look at that booty! Thick! T-H-I-C-C! -C. Oof! Look at that booty, guys. Ugh. That is... That is Alba booty. That is... I cannot wait to... Um... To see that without his clothes on. <laughs> Alba booty. I take the headphones I threw together with my jacket and put them on. I select my favorite music from from my coil and close my eyes, leaving my body to the flowing music. Whenever I'm restless or feeling unwell, or whatever reason, or for whatever reason, this method always helps me get relaxed again. I become immersed in the world of me and music. Mm -hmm. The rhythm and tempo of my music, my own breathing and heartbeat. They tune together little by little, melting and eventually becoming one surging wave. Huh. The whirlpool of melody wraps around my body and strokes it softly. This sound permeates my skin, mingles with my blood, and flows throughout me. Ah. Uh. Lights of all colors dance in my head like a soft film. 
It feels pleasant and I slowly calm down. It was like telling myself that only I was allowed here. That this is a place only for me. And I felt peaceful. This is my safe space. Kenta would be proud. Uh, ah. The discord of the headache and the noise of my body becomes distant. And the only quiet sound of my own breathing... And only the quiet sound of my own breathing leaves me. Like being pushed into a wave that spread to all parts of my body. A faint breath escaped from my lips. Time and time again. So comfortable. I feel like I'm sinking more deeply than usual today. We sound like we're going into a fucking coma. <laughs> like, I don't know about this. This doesn't sound right. Pain and such had, had all gone off somewhere. If I fall asleep like this, all that's left is to wait for a calm waking to come. If I fall asleep like this, I might never wake up again. <laughs> a sound? I open my eyes slightly, but with my consciousness blurry, I can't tell what it is for sure. Well, whatever. I get up on thinking straight and close my eyes again. This place. I've seen it before. I know it well. I sit on a sandy beach and talk with a certain person. I treasure what he says as if the words themselves shine. What did he say again? I can't remember. What he said was important. Oh god, these repressed memories. <laughs> They're so hard to unlock. We're probably going to have to play several more hours of this game before we can unlock it. Ouch, something hurts. It feels like something sharp is poking me. Um, is that Tyson? Wake up, sleepyhead, come on! Ch ouch! Actually, you know what, I think I'm supposed to give her the Yuri voice because she is actually, like, Grandma Yuri. Somebody told me that. Like, if this even is Tyson, which I'm assuming it is. You to wake up! I'll hit you, moron! Can I try to make it a little bit older sounding? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that hurts. I jump up in defiance of my persistent attacker, and the thing poking my face falls down. I reflexively grab it with both hands. Oh wait, that wasn't even Tyson. What the fuck? Why is Benny here? Uh oh, Benny. Ah, let go of me! How can you treat a guest this way? Benny flaps his wings in, in my hand and gives me a sharp glare. Does that mean Kojaku's here? Isn't that obvious? Let me go! I stand up from the bed with the shouting Benny in my hand. Huh? Wh where's Ren? I look for him and see him lying in the corner of the bed in sleep mode. Oh yeah, he said some data was damaged. I have to do some maintenance on him later. But I want to eat something first. <laughs> Ren can wait for now. I don't care if I don't care if he's basically in a death or near death state. I need to eat. I feel a lot better because I slept for a while. The headache's gone now too. There's some pain in my joints, but it's not so bad that I can't walk. When I step out of the room, a delicious smell drifts in from downstairs. Granny's back. She started cooking a meal. When I look at my coil, I see that it's already time for dinner. Wait, what? It's already this late? Wow, he slept all day. You almost didn't wake up, and I got angry. Do you finally get it now? Ignoring Benny's complaints, I head down the stairs and look at the kitchen. Kojaku sits at the dining table, and the room is filled with an appetizing smell. Granny is standing in the kitchen nearby. When Kojaku sees me, he grins. Yo, morning there. Morning. Looking super cool as usual, I see. <laughs> no thanks to you. Yeah, Alba's outfit is cool, isn't it? <laughs> it is not. A yawn leaks out against my will. H here. I shoot Benny, who I was still holding from earlier at Kojaku. Kojaku catches him skillfully. I even went to the trouble of waking you up, and you still treat me badly. Don't look down on me, Alba. 
direct your complaints at your master. Doesn't he make you run his errands? Can't help it. You're a real grump when you've just woken up. Th that's not true. Alba! If you're if you're up, help a little! The meal's ready, so get chopsticks and tea! Uh, oh, okay, okay. Granny's yelling forces me to hurry to the shelf. Kojaku listens in and laughs cheerfully. No matter how many times I visit, you never change, Tai-san. I feel relieved just hearing your energetic and shrill voice. Uh, I dare you to be yelled at every day. It's pretty hard. <laughs> when I shrug my shoulders while putting the chopsticks on the table, Kojoku laughs even more happily. I pour tea into the three teacups as Granny arranges the plates containing the freshly made dishes on the table. All the preparations for dinner are complete, and I sit at the table with everyone. Itadakimasu! <laughs> I'm such a weeb. Today's dinner is fish boiled with salt, stir-fried kanbu, and pork. I try the pork and find myself instantly impressed, only if I knew what any of these things actually really were. Delicious! A meal after you've slept away your exhaustion is delicious, really delicious! As I realize this, Kojaku watches Granny with a smile while chewing. It's really good. It's no surprise though, seeing as Tyson's cooking is the absolute best. Hmm, <laughs> how can you say that when you decided to come over out of the blue? Didn't I tell Albo I was coming? The blame is suddenly directed towards me and Kojaku stares at me. Didn't you say you'd come in the near future? And you kept sleeping like a log! You wouldn't get up no matter how many times you were called! That was, well... I guess that's true. But I'm really thankful that you made a proper meal like this. Don't misunderstand! There was some food that was going to expire soon! So this is a good chance to use them now! That's why I love you, Tyson. Just shut up! Granny snorts roughly and stuffs her mouth with kanbu. Kojaku watches her with a smile. For some reason, Granny seems to really like Kojaku. Kojaku came to this little island with mother, but it seems it was actually more common for him to be alone. That's why he often hangs out with me and comes over to my house. Of course he eats lots of Granny's homemade food too. If I know Granny, she's definitely thinking that she has a second grandchild now. That's right, Granny. Granny's always trying to pair me off with Kojaku, and she says I need, really need to settle down and find a good man like him. She she keeps trying to arrange us to go on dates, but I keep telling her I'm not gay. <laughs> Why won't she believe me? Are you staying for the night, Kojaku? I know I know Alba has extra room in his bed tonight. Granny asks this while raising her eyebrows. Kojaku stops stops his hand that was stuffing the food into his mouth and nods with hesitation. That's what I had in mind. Really? Would it kill you to have some shame? Well, well, it's the same as always, but I have to work, so even if you're sleeping, I'll slap you awake. But isn't it the opposite? I've always woken you up gently even though you won't you won't almost wake me up at all. Even though you won't almost wake up at all. That, that, that feels strangely phrased. I've always woken up I've always woken you up gently even though you won't almost wake up at all. That is strangely phrased. What? Is that even English? Ain't that right? You guys. After showing an irritatingly nice smile, Kojaku begins to eat his meal from the bowl again. Then we exchange silly conversations between the three of us, and through our lovely dinner, time passed. Uh oh, what's this? Okay, that was just, that was the faucet. It sounded like static, and I was like, what the hell? Are we having another vision? <laughs> Woo! I take a shower after the meal, and and cover my half-wet hair with a towel on my shoulders and proceed to the living room. I peep inside to see Granny watching TV while drinking tea. Kojaku isn't there. Where's Kojaku? He went upstairs! He's probably in your room! Uh, I see. Uh, by the way, Granny. What? Whenever I have a headache, I take my medicine like normal, but lately it's not as effective as it used to be. I guess I can up your heroin dosage! Granny, who was watching the TV the whole time, turns towards me. Granny told me to report anything regarding the headaches, no matter what it is. It hasn't worked at all? Um, not like that, but... But feels like it's not as effective as before. Is that so? Then let's try changing the formula a bit. A bit. Forget upping the dosage. I'll try to... I'll try to lace it with some cocaine. 
Uh, I'm counting on you. When I bow deeply, Granny snorts and returns to the TV. She's truly a medical professional. Well then, apparently Kojaku is in my room. I leave the living room and go upstairs. Multiple places in my body throb in pain, even when lifting only my foot. Ow! Ow! Though there are no visible cuts or bruises, the very core of my body possesses a dull ache. Is it because I took damage in rhyme? Even though the fighting happened in my head, it still hurts pretty badly. When I fought with that weird rabbit head, Ren said that there was control over the damage level. Is that even possible? I endure the pain, make my way up the stairs, and go into my room. Huh? Um, well, we'll see what he's so surprised by. Ooh, maybe Kojaku's changing, guys. Maybe we walked in him in his underwear. God, I hope so. <laughs> but, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.